Miss Collier explains application of equations. Today, our learning intentions are to know that equations can be applied to real world situations and then to be able to solve problems using equations. We will know we are successful when we can solve real world problems using equations. Today, we're going to talk about the application of equations. This is just the same as doing real world situations like we've done before, but this time with equations rather than expressions. Today we're going to learn a method for solving equations and the same method can be applied any time we have a, an equation in real life. Here's an example. So digital advertisers can calculate the cost per clicks that someone clicks on their ad. If the ad costs $2,000 and they end up with 10,000 people clicking on the ad, then each click costs 20 cents. Our steps for solving equations in real world problems are almost exactly the same as our steps for solving expressions. Step one is to define the pronumeral if it hasn't already been done. And we do that with that let statement that we know about. Step two is to write out the equation in a mathematical sentence. Step three is to then solve the equation either algebraically or using inspection if it's an easy one. And lastly, we need to ensure that we are answering the original question and what it's actually asking us, that we include our units and we write it in a sentence. Let's try some now. The sum of Kate's current age in years and her age next year is 19. How old is Kate? So sometimes we have to really think through the problem, but first step is always to define the pronumeral. So I'm going to say, let K equal Kate's age. I chose K for Kate. My next step is to write an equation and I have to think. So first of all, I see the word sum, which I know means addition. And that's the sum of her current age and her age next year. Well, if I say that her current age is K, I'm putting a K there, plus for the sum. So her current age plus her age next year. Her age next year is going to be her current age plus one more, right? So it's plus K plus one. Her age this year plus one will be her age next year and add that to her age this year. I can simplify this. I've got two Ks being added together, which is two K plus one. So, so far I have an expression, but I need an equation and I need to know what this equals. Well, her age now plus her age next year together equals 19. So there's my equation. Step three is to solve the equation. So I'm going to write it out up here and I'm going to solve just like normal. So I have to think what is happening to K and it's being times by two and then having one added and I need to go backwards. So I'm going to get rid of the one first, take one on both sides. I write out my equation again. My equal signs need to stay in line. I add in my operation on both sides. And then I solve. Plus one, take one cancels. I have two K left and I have 18. I've gotten rid of the one. Now I need to get rid of the two. So I'm dividing by two on both sides. Write out my equation again add in my operation, two and two cancel, I got the K, 18 divided by two is nine. I'm gonna check. So I'm replacing my K with what I think K is, and that's nine, two times nine plus one, two times nine is 18, plus one, 19. They're both the same, therefore K equals nine. I now need to make sure, first of all, I'm answering the original question, which the question is, how old is Kate? And I said K is Kate's age. So I figured out K, so I've answered the question. I now need to think of my units, which is years, and I need to write in a sentence. Kate is nine years old. You have a try. Let's quickly solve it. Hiring a cabin costs $80 per day, plus you must pay a $30 cleaning fee. Given that the total cost is $350, how many days was the cabin hired for? Well, step one, pronumeral. 
I'm going to say let D equal days. Next step is to write an equation. So I need to think of all of the things that are happening. So it's $80 per day. That's 80 times the number of days. So I've got 80 times the number of days plus, which is an addition, you must pay an additional $30 fee. So plus 30. I'm going to write that out without my invisible math, 80D plus 30. I now have an expression and I need an equation. So my total cost is $350 for the time I'm in the cabin. So that's all going to equal 350. Now that I have an equation, I can solve it just like normal. So what is happening to D? First it is being times by 80 and then it is being 30 added to it. I need to go backwards. I'm taking 30 off both sides. I'm writing out my equation. And I'm taking 30 off both sides. My 30 and my 30 cancel, leaving me with 80D. And 350 take 30 is 320. Now I've got to divide by 80 on both sides. I'm writing it out. 80D, 320, 80, 80. My 80 and 80 cancel, leaving me with D. And now 320 divided by 80. Well, the zero and the zero divide to cancel. So I've got 32 divided by eight, which is four. So now I'm going to do a check. I replace D with what I think it is, which is four. Eighty times four is three hundred and twenty. Three hundred and twenty plus thirty is three hundred and fifty. Therefore, D equals four. All right. First of all, I need to check that I'm answering the correct question. Which this one says, "How many days was the cabin hired?" And my D equals days, and I figured out days, so it's four. Second thing is I need my units, which is days, and I need to write a sentence. I hope now you will be able to solve problems using equations, using the same four steps every time.